Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video guide, we are going to configure IPsec site to site VPN in Windows Server 2019. This is the second part of this ongoing video on how to configure site to site VPN in Windows Server 2019. In the last video, we have set up PPTP site to site VPN in Windows Server 2019. So we are continuing from where we have left in the last video. Already we have all the configuration in place. We just need to modify settings related to L2TP IPsec. First of all, I'm on our VPN 02 server. So I'm talking about this VPN server. Let's right click on our server name and go for the properties. Let's click on security. And here I'm going to select allow custom IPsec policy for L2TP connection. Here we need to assign a pre-shared key. Okay, once you provide your pre-shared key, uh, click on apply. It is going to ask us that we need to restart routing and remote access service. Let's click on OK. Perfect. Now, let's move to our VPN01 server. Let's select the server name, go for the properties, and uh, let's select security. Select allow custom IPsec policy for L2TP VPN. Once you provide a pre-shared key, Click on apply, click on OK and that's it. Click on OK again. But this configuration is not enough. We need to specify this pre-shared key in our demand dial interface as well. So let's click on network interface. Let's select our demand dial interface, right click on it and go for the properties. Click on security tab. Under type of VPN, let's click on this drop down menu and select L2TP IPsec. Click on advanced settings. Select use pre-shared key for authentication. Here you need to specify the pre-shared key which you have set up on other VPN server. So in this property, fine. If you want, you can use a separate pre-shared key as well. Click on OK and click on OK. Uh, let me disconnect this demand dial interface. Okay, let's move to our VPN 02. Let's click on it interfaces. Let's select VPN01 demand dial interface, right click on it and go for the properties. Click on security, click on this drop down menu and select L2TP IPsec. Click on advanced settings, select use pre-shared key for authentication and specify that pre-shared key. Click on OK and click on OK. Now we are ready to connect our demand dial interface. Let's move to our VPN01. Let's right click on our demand dial interface and let's select connect. Okay, we are getting error. Uh, let me click on OK button and let's restart a routing and remote access service on a both servers. Let's do the same on VPN02 as well. Let's restart the service. Okay, service is successfully restart on our VPN 02. Let's check the same on our VPN 01. Perfect. Let's click on network interface. Let's select our VPN 02 demand dial interface. Right click on it and select connect. And perfect. We have successfully connected with our site to site VPN servers. How we can verify that? See, in the last video, we have checked that using checking connectivity between our Windows 7 computer and our domain controller. Let's check the same thing on our Windows 7 computer. Let's ping to our DC, 172.18.72.5 and we have a network connectivity. But this time, we also want to verify one more thing. Let's press Windows R key and type wf.msc. Let's press enter key. Let's click on monitoring, click on security associations and click on main mode. You can verify we have a one uh, connection established using pre-shared key for IPsec which is from 116.73.1.1 to 116.73.1.2. This is the IP address of our VPN01 and VPN02 server. Let's click on quick mode and here we can verify that we have a one quick mode connection as well from these two IP address using the local port UDP1701 which is used by layer 2 tunneling protocol 
L2TP. So after seeing this, we can say that we have successfully configured L2TP IP stack side to side to VPN in Windows Server 2019. Using the similar step, you can also set up SSTP side to side to VPN as well. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.